Look at the thumbnail of my video today. You'll see an incredible Korean meal that a Korean friend of ours made and as good as it is, uh, in and out burger. What do you choose to eat if you had a choice to make? Would you have a really good in and out burger? Or will you have this incredible Korean meal made by a Korean and made with her loving hands? I think most people would choose the Korean meal. That, my friends, is discernment. Discernment is a component of the voice of the Holy Spirit. Only Christians have discernment. People that are not, that do not have Jesus in them, do not have that component of the voice of the Holy Spirit and cannot judge by the sermon. Now, why do I say judge? I'm going to teach you now. Here's a case for the sermon. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 29. Here Paul says, Let the prophets speak two or three, when the prophets are prophesying, and let the others judge. Yes, my friends, judge. There's a good kind of judging and a bad kind of judging. Discernment is two things. It comes from a word that means two things. A thing that's on the left, a thing that's on the right. A thing that is good, a thing that is bad. A thing that is a lie, a thing that that it is true. That is something that we're supposed to pay attention to, something that God does not want us to pay attention to. So people think that judging is a bad thing. No, God judges, but He judges by discernment. Discernment is also choosing not just between the good and the bad, but the good and the excellent. Let me read this to you in first, I'm sorry, in Philippians 1 and 10. Paul tells us that you may approve the things that are excellent. The word for excellent is the words that differ. Differ. That you may be sincere and without offense to the day of Christ. So, choosing the thing that is excellent from the thing that is good is not so much a case of one or the other, it's a case of making a difference, saying, this is good, but this is excellent. This happens a lot. People come to me and say, you know, I have two jobs that have, that have come before me, and they're both good, but I don't know what to do. That's where the sermon, as a, say, as a thing that is different, the good from the excellent comes in. And God uses the vo that voice of discernment in us to say, though this is a good job, this one is better. I also use discernment, you know, after all these terrorist bombings that occurred in, in shopping centers and, and, and in cities, when I'm going to go into a crowded uh, shopping center, I say, God, is it safe to be here today or not? And God says, yes, it is. If I feel, and once in a while I have felt like a, a bad feeling, see, God is distinguishing between unsafe and safe. And there's been a few times that I say, I'm, I'm going to get out of here because something doesn't feel right here. That's discernment. But I'm very shocked that there are many Christians that are walking today, many, not using the voice of discernment not making a where God says listen listen to this story because it's a, it's a true story or don't listen to this story because it's a bad story don't judge this guy uh, uh, um, because because this guy this boy has a smirk on his face you don't know what's going in his heart but many Christians are functioning just like this and it's very dangerous because when the Antichrist comes He'll do a lot of wonderful things. You know, Satan never comes to us in a horrible way. Satan comes to us as an angel of light. 
He comes to us as a beautiful thing. The Antichrist is going to come to us probably as a very smart businessman that's going to solve a lot of problems and people are going to, it says that the world is going to follow after him and Christians are going to follow after him because psychologically to the obvious he looks like a great guy but if you were to use discernment the voice of the Holy Spirit would have told you this guy is bad news do not follow him so I made this chart for you I hope I can see it here because I'm looking at things backward about discernment and about um, what happens when a person walks by the Holy Spirit and when a person does not walk by the Holy Spirit okay first discernment is two things or the excellent thing choosing between this is safe and this is not safe or the excellent by making a difference um, you got two jobs, two are good, they're both good, but one is excellent, and the voice of the sermon tells you which one is the excellent one. Now, when you're not walking by the sermon, but you're walking by your mind, you become a psychological Christian, and I'm going to teach you that, versus a spiritual Christian. Here is what the psychological Christian looks like. If you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Paul describes the two types of Christians. One he calls a spiritual Christian, and one he calls a natural man or a natural Christian. They're both Christians. Let's read about the psychological Christian or the natural Christian. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. My friends, that word for natural man is the word psychikos, which means psychological, and the psychological person is a person that is using their minds. They're looking at a news story and passing a judgment because it just seems true. Or they're looking at the guy that had the... Uh, the smile or like smirk on the face and they say this guy has a smirk so therefore he's done wrong and they're using psychology so the psychological Christian cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God and notice that I told you that discernment is a component of the voice of the Holy Spirit but the natural psychological Christian cannot receive the things of the sermon because he's walking according to his mind okay now if we go back to my chart again if you go back to my chart again and you're gonna see that after psychological I put the word deception or planet and I'm gonna explain this to you <coughs> for the Greeks when they looked at planets like Jupiter uh, Saturn, Mars, Venus. They looked at those things and they said, what are these stars that are wandering around the heavens? So they called planets wanderers. They were just wandering. And the word for deception, the word for deception comes from the word uh, for planet or a wanderer. So the one that wanders the person that is deceived, it says in 2 Timothy 3 and 7, that person is ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of, of the truth. So we see many Christians today that because they're not using discernment, they can never come into the knowledge of God's truth. They're wandering from one story to one thing to one audio bite to another audio bite without using discernment. But the spiritual Christian, which is here, I'm going to read to you what the spiritual Christian does. The spiritual Christian is the one that is using discernment. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. But God has revealed them to us through His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, even the depths of God. Imagine the depths. Imagine what this means. A submarine 
has what is called a sonar. And when a submarine is going through the waters, the sonar bounces things at the bottom of the sea and takes and bounces them up to the submarine and people in the submarine know what is happening below them on the depths of the ocean. The Holy Spirit is God's sonar and the Holy Spirit bounces out even the deep things of God and reveals it to the man or woman that is walking by the Spirit. So in the case of discernment, God knows what actually happened 30 years ago or God knows what is happening to that boy's heart that had that smirk on his face and he tells you they are not to judge this boy because you don't know what was happening here you don't know the circumstances of this event you don't know what was really going through his heart so they are not to to focus on him he's sounding out God is sounding out the deep things the deep things of the Spirit of God so I hope that this helps you today as we see once again the sermon is the voice of the Holy Spirit is the two things and what is excellent and then he calls you to focus on the things of the Spirit which then is God's sonar to bounce the things of God the truths of God back to you and reveal it to you but the psychological the psychological man the psychological Christian ignores the voice of the Holy Spirit and he becomes deceived and he wanders around the truth like a planet and he never gets to the knowledge of the truth don't be like that I'm calling the church to repent to repent of using psychology to do things in this life to use their minds to do things in this life the mind is a good thing but the mind must be subjected to the voice of the Holy Spirit so use discernment distinguish and make and choose the good choose the excellent from the good and distinguish by the voice of God what is true and what is false what is good and what is bad okay my friends bye bye God bless